I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. We are back over here at the shop to see Martha, and you know what? There's a few things I'd like to buy from her, but there's only one thing I'd like to buy at the shop. Rest of them, I'm gonna get some deliveries on. This is what I'm gonna get from her right here at the store. This is the Global Goods Transport Pallet. Y'all haven't ever used this, it's pretty sweet. We're gonna look at it together. This does hold 200,000 liters. There's two options here of Unreal and Real, but we're gonna go ahead and buy this for 1,000, and while we're here, we're gonna buy more than one. We'll get three of them, that sounds good, right? Maybe kind of hard to tell from the ground level, so I went ahead and flew a little, but one size says auto load, one side says discharge they do exactly what that means i'm gonna auto load something into one side discharge it out the other side what is that gonna be that's gonna be the hay so kind of an automatic feeding system for the cows i'm not sure how these will even load up on a trailer but i'm gonna give it a try for the auto load if that doesn't work i do have some pallet forks to use now if y'all didn't know my one rule with using auto load is i must have the stuff to actually load it myself and i believe i have that i think regular pallet forks will work here doesn't appear i can get them loaded up in here but now that i think about it more there might be some other way i want to load them up and we'll look at that after I get them full. Got another 200,000 liters here. We're going to run up to those big bags or transport pallets. I guess it's running out big bags. Time to grab the old John Deere. This thing has not been doing much ever since I got these bigger tractors. I feel kind of bad. At, but hopefully this thing's big enough to lift up those pallets. We're going to find out here in a little bit. I still have some more dump off in there, but it's filling up right now with hay over at the production. While that's going on, I'm going to get this over here. And of course, there's something I need to buy. Here's the weird thing. I'm not sure if it showed any in the video, but I keep emptying it out into this one that it's completely empty right now and as i go away and come back the other ones are full so that gave me an idea of daisy chaining these together possibly don't know if i'm gonna have to do that but let's go ahead and dump this off here that is all the hay i have for right now i do have some grass out there i could pick up i need to probably pick up i should definitely pick up and i will pick up but i'm not in a hurry for that quite yet back over here to see miss martha let's go ahead and buy something i am looking for a very specific trailer and i might as well check the sales item maybe it's in here don't know i've actually never used use this trailer but oh look at that john deere eh, better not better not that makes a lot of people mad <laughs> i'm just kidding i really just don't like the whole uh center pivot thing on them on this one at least or all of them in general this is what i'm gonna go with right now i've never used this before at least i don't think i have maybe i have once in a while but i would like the palace to be kind of low to the ground we'll see that in a little bit hey look i got universal auto load thought i got rid of that mod i will buy that though for fifteen thousand dollars hopefully this ain't a waste and hopefully this works out the way i want it to looking at how short this is maybe this is going to be a waste because i was hoping to get all three of those pallets on here but with me doing it manually maybe i still can it appears these pallets have the weight disabled on them because i should be bouncing around everywhere right now with 200,000 liters of hay here i'm not gonna complain i like that i wonder if the universal auto load would work on this got them all loaded up and not sure if y'all have figured out exactly what i'm gonna do with them yet and the reason why i wanted to go with a lower trailer well, let's get them over to the cows and then i'll explain all that to you in my master plan Ooh. okay that's probably gonna sound horrible and i'm probably gonna take that out I'm trying to do like a creepy evil laugh thing here I'm talking about a master plan i don't know i'm just rambling on here maybe i should get some sleep it's 3 15 in the morning now the idea here is that this will just empty out and yes it did i noticed that number down there in the bottom did lower so hopefully these all work right here and just keep constantly refilling the cows now they're at 45 5,000 liters of food here. It should probably go down over the next hour, which it's about to roll over. So let's keep an eye on that and see. Come on, roll over, roll over. Come on. There it goes, went down. Now the food is not going up. It's at 44,000 liters. Darn. Will it change if I drive here? Oh, looks like it changed right there. Maybe I'm just not in the right position. I'll keep working on that here and there, but let's go ahead and drop it here for now. Oh, geez. What? No, no, no. What are you doing? It did not like that at all. Maybe I need to set these on the ground because I can't afford to leave a tractor over here with this. Maybe this trailer was a waste. Now, the reason I wanted it to be lower is normally those fill points for animals or just anything in general, they're lower to the ground. So a lower trailer should make it work the way I want it to, but I cannot unhook it and it doesn't seem to be working exactly the way I want it to. Not yet, at least. I'm still working on it, but I got some other stuff to work on this episode and that is going to involve some trees. Let's go ahead and get back to the shop real quick. Maybe not actually you know what you turn let's get over to our forested area and i'll get my items delivered over there for a little fee let's go ahead and sell this trailer back got 0.10 hours on it wow that's amazing oh well got thirteen thousand one hundred and ninety eight dollars. pretty good resale value on it thought it'd be a lot less we are finally going to plant our tree farm let's go ahead and get this right here and a pallet of trees this is going to be twenty six thousand dollars this is the base game one i don't have any mods don't know if there's any out there worth it 
or not, not sure. Let me know in the comments if you think I should be using something else to plant. Here's the thing, I want some tree saplings, but I can't seem to find the base game one. They all have some sort of mod name to them. I got my tree saplings here for the timber plantation. Got my tree sapling here for the pallet trucks pack. I even have my tree saplings here for the platinum expansion. I cannot seem to find one that's base game. Don't know if I'm in the wrong area. I haven't done this in forever. And I don't want to use that platinum expansion one because of how small they are. Let's go ahead and try to use this one right here. I think it's going to work out great. Now, what kind of tree am I going to use? Y'all may be wondering, and that is going to be oak. I think, right? Yes, oak. I sound a little weird, but I've got some tips out there from some of y'all leaving comments, and I really do appreciate that. So if y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, make sure you leave those down there for me because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But we'll go ahead and buy this for $1,000. Maybe 20 trees is enough. Hopefully it loads up on there. I'm not sure, but got it all delivered over here. Got my planter, got my trees. Let's get them planted. Looks like I loaded up there just fine. Now I need to purchase this land because I don't think I've done that quite yet. And I'm going to be planting them right here in front of me in this area. No rows or anything quite yet. Just going to kind of try to get them in the ground right now so they're growing i was told it'd take about a year for them to grow to a good harvest stage as far as cutting them down dragging them over for wood and we'll get there eventually gonna go ahead and buy farmland 12 for eighty five thousand dollars. now i believe i'm ready to plant there it goes that one did go on the ground i can see it sticking out that is another reason I want to use this one instead of the platinum expansion because wow, those things are so tiny you can barely see them going in the ground. Hopefully this distance right here is good enough. I was told if I wanted to go with something else, I would have to probably manually do the distance. Not sure, and I'm not sure if these are even going to be in a straight row because obviously I'm turning here and I'm just dropping them wherever they land. Let's get all 20 of these on the ground. It's going to look ugly, especially whenever they actually grow in. All 20 of them are now on the ground, and it is probably going to look pretty weird whenever they grow up. Hopefully they do grow up. Hopefully there's nothing restricting them with how close they are. Not sure, but that would kind of make sense if there was a restriction. Of course, I will go ahead and get this put away here while I tear off my little beacon things at the top. I keep hearing there's another name for those beacon things now. Maybe Rainbow Hacker Gaming can fill me in on in the comments of what those are actually called up there. But I am actually going to put this away. That's surprising to me. I realize my winch is still sitting out over there. I should have probably put it away under the cover, but it doesn't really do anything. It's a game. I am really excited to see those things grow in, but it's going to take a while, like I said. Let's head back over to the farmhouse. I think I'm all done over there. Maybe I'll remove some trees with the tree devourer and get some more wood chips because I do have a little stockpile of wood chips laid out on the ground that I would like to get into some sort of production. With $110,000, I think I can get into that production. But soon we'll be doing our first harvest over on the grass field. And of course, I'm going to be blowing through all my money. Well, that's it for this episode. want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. Really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section because they're always welcome and very much appreciate it. And until next time, y'all take care.